week's update of COVID cases throughout the state. 4,400 Iowans tested positive for the virus, and more than 800 of those people live in Polk County. No one died from COVID-19 last week. And throughout the past month, COVID case numbers have been rising, but for right now, they seem to be stabilizing. That's a bit of a good thing. However, it's still a good idea to get your COVID-19 booster shot or even your second one if you qualify for it. Our Griffin Wright joins us live this morning with more on how getting your booster shot right now might look a little bit different than it has in the past. Hi, Griffin. Hi, Jody. So we all want to put COVID behind us, and part of doing that is making sure that we get our COVID vaccine and then staying up to date on the boosters. Now, the FDA approved a second booster shot for those for people who are 50 and older or for people who have compromised immune systems. And, you know, compared to the start of the year, it may take just a little bit more planning to get your booster shot. Now, it's still something that's pretty easy to do, but when case numbers dropped earlier this spring, we saw many testing centers and vaccine centers close. Now, the best place to go is your local pharmacy or healthcare provider. Many accept walk-ins, but it's important to check ahead of time to make sure that they have availability. Most people got their booster near the beginning of the year, and now is the time where immunity may be waning. The FDA recommends getting a second booster at least four months after your first, and even though case numbers may not be as high as the beginning of the year, it's still important to stay up to date. Right now, things are looking good, but that doesn't mean that our communities can let their guard down. And what I mean by that is it's incredibly important. If you have not gotten your booster dose, you receive your booster dose. Um, kids as young as five can start receiving a booster dose and individuals 50 years and older um, who may have uh, other health conditions can get a second booster. So it's incredibly important to make sure you're staying up to date on your vaccines and your booster. So it is just really important to make sure that you stay up to date and it's not that hard to do. There's still a lot of places to go. It's just your local pharmacies, hospitals and other healthcare providers. We don't really have as many of those maybe drive through vaccine clinics. And when it comes to summer travel, you're going to want to make sure that you're up to date because lots of other countries have pretty strict requirements when it comes to being vaccinated. So it's important to check ahead of any travel plans to see what you need in terms of maybe you need to bring your vaccine card. Maybe you need to have your booster and other things like that. Yeah, maybe even time to relocate that vaccine card that you put away. All right. Thanks so much, Griffin.